Hello, good afternoon. Hi. I was chuckling about something else. Hi, I'm Casey Durango of Go Keto with Casey, where I like to talk about how I've lost 97.4 pounds since starting the ketogenic protocol, how you may be able to lose weight, improve your health, regain control of your life like I did. There we go. Um, it's cold here where I am today. Like we woke up as like 15 degrees, which is pretty cold for us. So I'm a, I have my toasty Go Keto with Casey zippered hoodie. And I'm, it's very warm, so I'm sure I'll be taking it off here before this hour or half hour is over. So I want to talk today about you. I want you guys to do the talking. We're at, you know, we're approaching the end of the first month of a new year. And many of us may have decided that we would make changes. And being human beings, those changes can, we can have a lot of enthusiasm for them until the enthusiasm wanes. So I wanted to check in with you guys, see how you're doing. For those of you who don't know, the ketogenic protocol, as I learned it and have practiced it now over eight years, keep your carbohydrate intake to 20 grams or fewer a day, total carbs, not net. If it's not on page four, link below, don't eat it. You don't even need a food list though. Just eat fatty sources of protein, limited amounts of full fat dairy and limited amounts of non-starchy vegetables. Uh, don't eat if you're not hungry. Stop when you're satiated, not stop when you're stuffed. And that's it. So we can start that. And then we been trying to, change habits, we can find it challenging. And there's no shame in that. You know, we some of the habits we have regarding food are not only our habits of a lifetime, they are habits of multiple generations. It's the way we were literally raised to eat. Our families did it and they were taught one way and the great low-fat experiment has been shown to be a bust. So trying to correct some of, of our habits and change some of our ingrained learning. Give me a challenge before I forget. Hashtag Casey's Pink Drink. Tall glass, full of ice. This happens to be with mostly no sugar ginger ale with a splash of diet cranberry juice and a squeeze of lime. And I'm already warm. So I really, this really is a, an effective zippered hoodie. Someone requested that that I make a zippered hoodie, design one. I didn't make it. I designed a little thing. Go Keto with Casey. Thumbs up. So I'll probably take this off. Now, having said that, I want to, to see how you guys are doing. Because a couple of weeks ago, I started at the end saying, does anyone want to share their story? And I got such a great feedback. Such great response from that, that I'm going to try to remember to incorporate that every time I do a public um, live stream. And so with that, some people have shared their successes. Some people have shared their struggles. Let's see how you're going. So I am now going to turn my attention to attendees. And first of all, I usually try to remember, can you guys see and hear me? I never know. Sometimes I just start talking and then I'll look down and say, we can't hear you. <laughs> You're on mute. Hopefully you can see and hear me. So let's, I'm going to just jump in. Good morning from Laurel Highlands of Southwest Pennsylvania, writes Water Dancer. Barbara Leitchen, Luchin writes, can see and hear you. Thank you. You anticipated my question. I appreciate that. Uh, DJ writes, good morning. Thanks for being real. Heather Silva. Hey, Heather, good morning from Boise, Idaho. You know, Heather, there's a, there's a patron of ours, an artist. She's now an artist from Boise. Um, she sometimes shows up at these live streams. Good morning, all right. Stephanie Lynn, Paula Shepard. Good morning from Windy, California. Yvonne Gilman, hi from the UK. And DJ writes, you're the only keto person online that I think I could say I am slipping and afraid of gaining back a year's worth of good eating. Okay, let me read this again because I want to make sure I read this correctly. 
you're the only keto person online that I think I could say I'm slipping in afraid of and afraid of gaining back years worth of good eating. You mean without without me going, rah, rah, rah. no, I'm not going to do that. It's hard. The, the protocol is simple. Keep your carbs very low. Lay off the carbs. Lay off the excuses. That doesn't mean it's easy because we are trying to overcome habits. The good news is it can be done, even though we are habituated, even though we are conditioned to believing certain things, to doing certain things, even though food manufacturers, it's their job to try to get us to buy and eat more food. Actually, they don't care whether we eat it. They just want it, us to buy it. We can buy it all and burn it up in the backyard in a, you know, in a bonfire. As long as we buy it, they're happy. But it can be done. For those of you who don't know my story, and I'm not going to take a lot of time out, but you can see um, my previous photographs, pre photographs from my previous self at my blog, kcdurango.com, link below. And everything else I talk about, you can find one way or another at that blog as well. Um, I was really big for a really long time, from my mid-20s to my mid-50s. I knew from my teens, from the time I was 19 years old, I knew that low carb and, and that time it was the Atkins diet, the induction period of that, I knew it worked for me. I had a very few pounds that I wanted to lose at, um, having put on a few pounds in college. So I wanted to lose them. I did. I threw away the book. And then that was really cute and young and did all the things you do when you're cute and young. And I met a good looking guy and we got married and we had a couple of kids. And after the, with the pregnancy of the second child, I put a lot on a lot of weight and I just never lost it. We still had a third child, but from my mid twenties until my mid fifties, big. And a couple of attempts I made at low carb. I'll just go back to that thing I did back then in college and I would do it. And then I would say the things to myself that made, maybe you have said to yourself, oh, I was doing great. And then life happened or I was doing great. And then I really needed some comfort. So I turned to food for comfort. You know, a warm blanket is comforting. An embrace is comforting. We should not look to food to comfort us. And sometimes it's not comfort food, it's torture food because we end up torturing ourselves after we've eaten it. But I did those things. It wasn't until I realized I was on the path that I would need to take insulin for type 2 diabetes that I made a change. I didn't do it for cosmetic reasons. I gave up on losing weight. The cosmetic piece was not, was not, did not enter into it. I didn't want to take insulin for type two diabetes. So I made the change. Now I'm going back to you. Uh, when is the Raleigh event? Asks Shantae Copeland. Actually, Shantae, if you go to my blog under my schedule, Scroll down. It's February 12th. You can scroll down and see it, and there'll be a link to register there. I am speaking there. God willing, and the creek don't rise. Um, Diana Sutfid writes, oops, let me, oh, of course, I don't have my mouse every day. I'm on camera like six days a week in different way or another, and I always forget, not always, I often forget my um, mouse. Diana Sutfin writes, Sutfin writes, I'm back on the keto wagon, but weight coming off slowly. That can happen. And, you know, so it's better than it coming on slowly. So we'll just take our victories where we can get them. Pia Nyman writes, I made a pink drink too. Pia from Sweden. Hi, Pia. Carol Petty writes, can you eat to low, can you eat too low of calories if you're not, can you eat too low? Can I, What you're asking is, can I eat too little? If you're not hungry, I'm 76, stay around 800 to 1,000. I'm probably around 800 to 1,000 calories a day. I don't really track it. But no, if you're not hungry, don't eat. Our bodies will tell us when we're hungry. And as we get older, we need less fuel. We're not growing taller. We're not laying on bone and tissue. We are not gearing up every month to host a human. We require, we're not 
potentially going to nurse a human every month, we need less fuel. So no, make sure, but make sure you are getting sufficient protein, not high protein. This is not a high protein diet. It's not a high fat diet. It's simply not a low fat diet. The protein tends to be kind of self-regulating depending on your gender, your body composition, your age, your lots of things. And it's self-regulating. Um, there are you know formulas out there, but there's such a wide range, even in the formulas of how much protein one requires as to be kind of almost useless. While carbohydrate is not an essential macronutrient, meaning we don't have to eat it to get whatever benefits we our body requires, protein and fat are essential macronutrients. We must consume them by mouth in order to have access to the amino acids, et cetera, that our bodies require for good cell health. Okay, Lee Hoff writes, keto in Costa Rica, no rice, no beans, no bread. I did Japanese for dinner yesterday. So are you saying you are following the protocol and you're not eating rice or beans or bread? My husband is from, is de Colombia, South America. Y para toda la vida de él, él se comí, and I'm going to say, I'm going to butcher the verb tenses, comí arroz, frijoles, patacones. Arepas, papas, a yuca. And he decided, even though he never really had a weight issue, after he saw the changes in me, he heard the lectures I was hearing, the medical lectures, not the lifestyle YouTube channels, that that made sense to him. So if my, si mi esposo de Colombia puede cambiar la comida, Anybody can. And if I can do this, you can do this. I promise. Excuse me. Um, Life Adventures and Keto. Happy Saturday, y'all. I lost 2.4 pounds this week after going back to page four. Yay, congratulations. Yvonne Gilman. People brought us lots of chocolate over Christmas and a bunch of sad emoji faces, did eat some, gave some to the kids next door, and the rest went in the bin. Heather Silver writes, beginning this month, I started working out three times a week, walking every day, eating once a day, every other day, and crocheting, <laughs> feeling awesome, back in control, and getting stronger every day. Congratulations. Charmaine Stein writes, good evening from Cape Town, South Africa. Hello. Okay, my screen jumped up around on me. Life Adventures and Keto writes, coffee cheers. Not sure what that means. HP writes, good evening from Namibia. I had a fruit binge. It's my kryptonite. You know, this is the joke we make. I used to say that pizza was my kryptonite. It wasn't. It was the excuse I made to eat pizza. I still eat pizza toppings. I just don't eat the bread crust. So if you know that fruit is a challenge for you, you need to prepare for it in advance. What? Fruit is a problem, you might say? Yeah, fruit is sugar. It's just sugar. Really, the way it comes, there are three macronutrients, carbohydrate, fat, protein. There's not fat, protein, carbohydrate, and then good fruits. Fat, carbohydrate, uh, protein, fat, protein, carbohydrate, good fruits, and root vegetables. And the, if it's not a fat or a protein, it's carbohydrate. And it comes out of our liver as simple sugar. <laughs> um, Pia Nyman writes, I'm on my way to be smaller again after almost, I almost quit keto. But now I'm on it again and losing weight again. Excellent. Lee Hopp writes, correct. Following keto in Costa Rica, ignored the fried plantains and fruit. And, you know, I love that food too. My husband travels to Colombia twice a year for, you know, extended time, not just for, you know, a long weekend. And he manages to stay on track. Pan de queso was something that he um, really liked, but he, he 
Claire Titus writes, Lincoln, Nebraska, doing well, keeping the carbs very low at goal weight and maintaining, avoiding packaged keto products and focus on simple foods such as meat and veggies. Oh, that is wonderful. Congratulations. And thank you for talking about keto products. If a packaged food has the word keto on it, it almost certainly is not. Why would that be? Because to make something shelf stable, Without refrigeration or being frozen, it pretty much needs stabilizers in there. And the stabilizers are pretty much carbs. And it's a non-regulated term, so they can, anybody can say it. Kara Z writes, Heather Silva, I crochet too to keep my hands busy. It really helps. Pia writes, do you have any tip and trick of how to not give up some days when motivation falls? You know, um... We have to prepare for those days when we're going to feel vulnerable and we have to prepare in advance. So how are we going to do that? One way might be when we're feeling really good and motivated on those days that we are just pumped. Preload our brain. Say, I want you to remember, brain, how good you feel right now on this day when everything is falling into place. And I want to rem I want you to remember this when my motivation is lagging or it's overcast outside and it's kind of a bummer day. We have to be prepared in advance. If we wait until that bummer day, we're we are vulnerable and it can be a challenge. Miko Staines writes, coming up on my one year ketoversary, lots lost a lot of weight in the first 10 months and sort of stalled out the last three. I'm sure I'm eating to maintain because I'm not mentally ready to eat less, to lose. Bingo. The mental piece is huge. We tell ourselves certain things to see what we can get away. I mean, I'm going to take this jacket off. It's very effective. I mean, it's warm. I will say it's a unisex. Um, and it's, you can see it, see it at my Teespring shop and you can see all kinds of products underneath this video, mugs and steel water bottles and t-shirts. Oh, and this is a t-shirt. My best-selling t-shirt from Teespring. I'm stronger than a cookie. Go keto with Casey. Because we tell ourselves, oh, I'm powerless. Or fruit is my kryptonite. Or, you know, ice cream gets me through the hard days. Mm. We are stronger than all of that. We maybe don't want to own that we are stronger. Because if we own that we're stronger, that means that, yeah, we... We do have the power to avoid the cookie or eat less in order to lose. You know, if someone, if, if uh, Miko Staines, if there was something said, I'm going to write you a check right now for $50,000. Just don't eat if you're not hungry. You know, forget about how much weight you're going to lose. Just don't eat if you're not hungry and stop when you're satiated. Pay attention to how much food you're eating. Would probably happen. Kara writes, I like the advice to prepare ahead for a day. You don't feel motivated. I'm going to make a plan now. My, I don't have a calendar with me to show you. I have a few calendars left. 2022, go keto with Casey calendars. But one of the months reads, you know, I think it does. <laughs> Be, you know, be prepared. We don't, we don't drown because we can't swim. We drown because we panic. So don't panic. Be prepared in advance. Hello from Indiana. Love your content. Thank you, Hodge Nobbler. Our weekly video Bible study. Hey, Scott, I have removed mayonnaise from my eating. I was abusing the amount limits. I think in my mind, the fact that it has no carbs was an excuse to overuse. So for now, it's out of the house. Excellent point, Scott. Thank you for bringing it up. Page four. And, you know, page four, this is the copyrighted version from Dr. Eric Westman. There are a lot of bootleg copies of so-called page four out there that have, they've just been bastardized. They have nuts on them and kiwi and um, quinoa and no limits. 
you know, eat as much as you know. Dairy is limited. Almost every every part of dairy, cheese, mayonnaise, sour cream, heavy cream, is limited. Because dairy is calorically dense. And a serving of mayonnaise, as Scott may know, because he's a patron and I've talked about this, and I'll talk about Patreon in just a second. A serving is 14 grams by weight, which is almost nothing. It is like a generous schmear. That's a serving of mayonnaise, and that's 100 calories. We don't count calories, but calories count ultimately. So good on you for recognizing it. Hello, Beth Howard. This is my screensaver on my phone and iPad. I find it very helpful. What is your screensaver, Beth? If you quit, oh, now you're saying, if you quit now, you'll end up right back where you first began. And when you first began, you were desperate to be where you are right now. Keep going. Excellent. Thank you for sharing that. Stephanie Lynn uh, writes, same, I quit mayo due to the seed oil it is made of. Um, I have some mayo in my fridge now. It's made from avocado oil. So no seed oil. It's expensive. But since we need to use so little, <laughs> it goes a long way. Judy Porterfield writes, my only thing I seem to overeat is when I have sour cream. It's easy to do. When I first started this, I, I ate a lot of food, a lot. I was, that was 100 pounds ago. But the, the one of the first signs of being in ketosis or burning fat for fuel is your hunger dissipates and your appetite is suppressed. So like, I can't eat that much food anymore. Now the idea of eating that much food, whew, it makes my head hurt. Life Adventures and Keto writes, the real copy is only $9.99. I can spend that in as an investment to myself. And a Water Dance writes, love it, Beth Howard. So true. Yvonne Gilman, Beth Howard, yes, I've come this far, not going back. Oh, and another thing that I learned from one of my patrons because I do one-on-ones and she and I were talking. <clears throat> Excuse me. She said that she learned to reframe some thinking for herself because whether it's a strumble, which is a mashup of stumbling and struggling because I do my, anyway. Okay, let me quickly talk about Patreon then I won't have to talk about it anymore. Little uh, shameless commerce division and I want to thank patrons who are very supportive. And I have a private support group on patreon.com, depending on your pledge level. So at, starting at $5, you get 20 pre-recorded video snippets from me a month. I make them every weekday morning at my kitchen counter without makeup, sometimes before coffee. And the topics are from suggestions made by patrons. Going up from there, a handful of patron-only live streams on Crowdcast. Going up from there, a handful of patron-only video group sessions on Zoom. And going up from there, monthly one-on-ones with me. And thank you very much for patrons. Plus there's a private hidden Facebook group and a couple of other things. So this woman we were sharing and she said she decided to quit thinking about, oh, now I'm, I have to start over because we can start thinking, oh man, I was doing great. And then this happened. Now I've got to start over. She said, I'm going to start framing it that I'm picking up where I left off. That's really good. So I suggest reframing it like that. Doris Komisarek writes, plan so you have success on keto. Make it easier by just planning ahead. Planning can be very key depending on your situation. Some people real find that meal prep really helps. It takes the decision-making out of it uh, of their brain for a week. I'm going to prep my meals. Here's what Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, whatever. I, or I'm going to cook something big and I'm going to portion them and I'll have it so I don't have to think about it again. If you're going to go on a trip, a vacation, a road trip, business trip, you're, you're going to family's house, they're coming to your house, plan in advance. If you wait until you're in the middle of it, you might drown. Drown, not drowned. Lee writes, Beth Howard, truth. And Claire Titus writes, I planned carefully for Thanksgiving and Christmas and managed not to gain any weight over the holidays 
planning ahead is important. It can be done, right? Spot on Beth Howard writes, Judy and Christina Poloschik, arg, just got here. Hello, everyone. Hi, Christina Poloschik. That's okay. Now, does anyone, since this is about how you guys are doing, does anyone have a particular victory, observation, or a challenge or anything else to share? And the victory does not have to be weight change. It can be, you know, I came off three medications, or I was able to get on the airline and not need a seatbelt extender, or I was able to zipper those pants that I haven't been able to zipper in a long time. Amy Anderson writes, I see myself in the mirror and I still don't recognize myself. I see my legs look so nice and think, who is this person? Never going back. My health is worth it and I feel fabulous. Round of applause. Life adventures and keto. I take chaffles everywhere as my bread replacement, even eating out. I'm not a fan of the chaffles, but that's almost an inside joke between me and Dr. Westman. I have a reason for it. It's not, you know, one thing, the name is silly, but there is a reason that I worry about those things. Heather, but whatever works is what you need to do. Heather Silver writes, when I ate crappy carbs, there were never enough to fill me up. I could eat them forever and felt miserable. So whenever I think about eating some, I think it through to the end. Excellent suggestion. Project yourself. Just, it's not like time travel. Just think about how you're going to feel in seven minutes if you eat that donut, whatever it might be. Oh, yeah. You really, you know, eat, the eight seconds it's going from your, you know, your mouth down your gullet. Oh, donut. Huzzah. And then you start feeling, oh, you know, self flagellation and feeling like a failure. Maria, oh, I want to pronounce your name correctly. Buela Mbelwa. Maria Mbelwa. You really inspire me. Greetings from Tanzania. And hey, Ange, my motto these days is I will get there. And Ange, you will get there. You've come so far. Beth Howard writes, exactly, Amy and Judy. That is awesome. I still think I'm an extra large, but really now I'm a medium. B. Barr writes, I now weigh what I weighed when I married my awesome hubby 20 years ago. Still going. Congratulations. Life adventures and keto. Uh-oh. Mine is just eggs and cream cheese. But I see your point. Keep in mind, cream cheese is limited. Just keep in mind. I mean, it's easy to say. It's like it's like fat bombs. If you say, oh, it's a fat bomb, I'll, then they eat 12 of them. Oof. That may not be so good. But as long as it's working for you. Stephanie Lynn writes, blood pressure 108 over 79 this morning. Wonderful. Pia Nyman. Yeah, I can now sit in chairs without getting my behind stuck and take the chair with me. Who has had that happen? Me. Marquez Curry. Not being hungry all the time. So here, here are the things that are wins. They are in the win column. Column. We put them in the W column. Not being hungry all the time is a victory in itself. DJ writes, I've lost so much. This week I saw myself in a full length mirror in a public restroom and didn't know it was me for a second. LOL. Love that. And Stephanie Lynn writes, Pia, LOL. Sharon Wild writes, just got in from walking my dog. My parka is so big I could wear another coat under it. Love it. Claire Titus writes, changing clothing sizes is a bit of a pain as clothes cost money, but smaller clothes are more fun. Some people have really taken advantage of th thrift stores as they are going through the sizes. You know, they, they drop off a load of larger, pick up a load of smaller, and then repeat it again in another six weeks. Candace B. writes, been keto for two and a half years. After six months, I haven't needed to wear reading glasses. I wore them for at least for 12 years previously. Only needed to lose 20 pounds and it's been gone for over two years. Wow, that's awesome. Yvonne Gilman, blood pressure, perfect. Fatty liver, gone. No diabetes, all gone. Just those things right there. 
the downstream medical and financial impacts that you are not going to experience are profound. Kara Z writes, there's lots of room between my belly and the steering wheel. I remember when I first got in my car and I'm short, so I have to have the seat pulled way up. I mean, I'm 5'1 and, and I'm not leggy, you know, so my legs are short. Well, I look down and instead of pushing against the steering wheel and those of you who, I mean, you know what I'm talking about if you know what I'm talking about. Wow. It was great. That's wonderful. I can now cross my legs whenever I wear a dress, writes Andrea L. One of my favorite things to do is crossing my legs. Another favorite thing, putting my hand around my wrist. I do this compulsively throughout the day. Lee Hoft writes, the past three years, I was bombarded by flooded home, COVID, caregiving my mother and husband. Lost my mother in October, my husband in November. In the process, gained 20 pounds back. AC, A1C went up. Lee, I'm so sorry for all that trauma. And of course, I'm, I'm going to say this, and you know this, that none of the food you ate helped. It might have deflected some feeling, and it might have been a diversion. And we say we use food to cope, but we clearly use food to not cope. But that having been said, you know the answer. And I, I hope you have the strength to, to feel as good as you can feel in this tough time. Life Adventures and Keto. I know you're not a doctor, but does anyone know what it is to be nor what what is to beat normal blood pressure? Have a new sports watch that measures I'm on and I'm concerned. Okay, so blood pressure is one of those things where they kept changing the goalpost. Possibly so people could take more medication. You know, they've lowered the recommendations of what overall cholesterol number should be so that more and more statins can be prescribed. There used to be an old rule of thumb. Your blood pressure, the top number should be your age, 220 minus your age. I think that was it. But now it's, you know, they want everyone to be the same. I don't know if you feel okay and if it's not way out of range. Plus, keep in mind, blood pressure, when you're not a sugar burner, can be different. A lot of our body systems can be different when we're burning fat for fuel as opposed to burning sugar for fuel. But that is a question for a doctor. Uh, Life Adventures and Keto, you may want to register for the free Durham Support Group meeting with Dr. Eric Westman and myself first Tuesday of every month. You can see my schedule. It's on my schedule at my blog. It is free. And he's the world expert on the clinical implementation of a low carb, no starch, no sugar, ketogenic protocol for the treatment of obesity and diabetes and all sorts of other things. And he, the doctor is in, he will answer your questions. Hey, Gray's custom trim. I always want to hear what you have to write. Yes, DJ, the amount of times I have seen my reflection in a window while passing and moved over to let the person pass by, it's embarrassing. That's funny. Uh, Gray's custom trim, I will just put it in very scientific terms. He's lost a boatload of weight, almost literally a boatload, depending on the size of the boat. Mr. Gray, I will let you share your story. Judy Porterfield writes, wow, awesome job, Yvonne Gilman. Thanks, Beth. And Sandra Snyder writes, good morning from Rockingham, North Carolina. Started September 1st, 2021, down 18 pounds. You and Dr. Westman have helped me so much. Congratulations. Steve1711 writes, in the UK, it used to be 100 plus your age. Okay, there. you know what? I, that, so a math person could tell us whether that makes sense. I mean, if that would be almost the same. So 100 plus your age for the top number. Interesting. Thank you for that. Tammy Holloway, top number 110 to 120, bottom number less than 85 approximately. Are you saying what it should be or what it is? Mine is, I think the mine is generally around 110 over 70 to 80, something like that. 
usually. Life Adventures and Keto. What a good point. I will ask and I will look into it. Judy Porterfield writes, Lee Hoff, so sorry for your losses. Yes, a devastating time. Devastating. And I can't imagine and I will not even try to. I won't insult you by saying, oh, I know I know how you must feel. No, because I don't. I mean, I've lost people, buried members of my family, but I've not been through what you've been through. My mother would be so proud of me. She never knew me when I after I lost weight. Okay, Claire Titus writes, 100 plus age is not a good idea. I'm a retired registered nurse. Although I will say there are a lot of medical professionals I'm who were just taught things that are not accurate. I'm not saying that about blood pressure because I don't know. But keeping in mind that being a sugar burner, fat burner, can it's possible that your blood pressure can be totally fine, but you're a fat burner as opposed to when you're a sugar burner because inflammation can trigger lots of different things. I don't know. Frank, Frankie A, Lee, so sorry. Um, so sorry for these, for the bombarding three years. Hang in there and keto will help you feel better. It's just, you know, it's terrible, really. And, and the, and truly food really doesn't fix anything. It might distract us, but it doesn't fix anything other than hunger. Thank you guys for sharing your stories. Um, there are cal calendars and spiral books available at my blog. There are cups. and You don't have to buy anything to be 100% successful in this protocol, but I'll sell you a mug all day long. So do that. Register for the Durham Support Group meeting, the Adapter Life event, February 12th in Raleigh. I will be there, um, assuming everything moves forward. And I'll be presenting along with, you know, I'm really honored to be alongside those folks. And um, and I'll talk to Amy Berger about reinstating Wednesday wine days. We kind of get, let it take a little vacation. Serious Cakes writes, I weigh my food 100 to 120 grams. More than that, and I'm asking for a stomach ache. I can't trust my eyes. I might start with a small serving, but it will gradually grow over time. Good tip says bye and I will oh and uh, poor Judy writes exactly Casey you're still going to have to deal with the weight and the losses and Gray's custom trim ha huh, ha huh, lost 255.2 pounds in 12 months following the protocol now down over 300 pounds no special foods supplements or plans my 14 foot boat does weigh 285 pounds that's hysterical <laughs> Lee writes, thank you so much. God has carried me through and Casey's support system got me back on track. I reprinted page four and went back to it. No insulin for me. Thank you all. Thank you all for allowing me to be part of your Saturday and for sharing parts of us that sometimes are hard to share. Yes. So Stephanie writes, thank you for sharing, everyone. Thank you for sharing. And stay safe and warm and dry. Stay safe. Bye, Beth. See you in Raleigh. Ciao, Bella.